In this lab, we'll uh, discuss three ways to import Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint. There are many spreadsheets usually um, saved on company's network drive. And if you want to uh, use the collaborative functionality of SharePoint, then it's best to bring those Excel spreadsheet on your network drive, on your on a C drive, whatever, to bring it into the SharePoint. You can save time when you create a SharePoint list by importing an existing spreadsheet file. When you create a list from a spreadsheet, its heading becomes columns in the list and the rest of the data is imported as list items. So let's discuss the number number one, uh, the, the way you can import the, the spreadsheet. I am on my SharePoint site and let's go to ABC homepage. The first way is to add the spreadsheet web part into SharePoint. So let's create a page where I can bring my Excel spreadsheet and I'll just use the blank and click on create page. So I'm creating a new page in my SharePoint site and I'll make this as the student data web part. And I'm going to remove my name here and click on publish button. And close this help others find your page message. And also you just publish a page, tell us how it went. Okay, so I have a student data homepage, which is a new page in SharePoint uh, site ABC. And next task I'm going to add app so click on gear icon and click add an app and either scroll down or find an app import and enter so choose the import spreadsheet web part um, and uh, app and here you will enter name and description so name will be student data project and you can also enter the description and find the file location so I have already an Excel file located in my desktop under my labs2 folder and um, you can bring up the Excel file on from your local machine. So click on browse and go to the location where you can find your Excel file. I have a student budget for SharePoint export already created. Select and click on open and click on import button. So we are getting this message says this feature requires a browser that supports ActiveX control. Um, I'm going to do a couple of troubleshooting things and see if that if that works. So the first I'm going to do is copy the the address so my SharePoint site and I'll see if I can go to I'm using Microsoft Edge but you can try in um, Internet Explorer 11 or you can also go to the earlier browsers but that's not an advisable thing so let's go to age now I'm going to settings so what I found it is let's take another route um, in your search bar on your computer just type control panel so control and open your computer's control panel and then go to internet options and then go to security and then click on trusted sites and click on sites and paste your um, paste your address that we copied from earlier 
earlier a few seconds ago and I'm going to click add I'm going to close I'm going to click OK and click control panel I'm going to close my age browser and open again and then I'll be back to the student data home page so I found out that even though we added the site as a trusted site and I opened Microsoft Edge again I received the same error so instead of troubleshooting uh, maybe at a later time I'm just going to open Internet Explorer so the lesson learned here is um, use the Internet Explorer when you want to import Excel spreadsheet you can try with the Google Chrome but we'll, we'll try with the Internet Explorer here so open your Internet Explorer app and let's go to office.com and bring up our SharePoint site and then click on ABC site again and under left hand side navigation bar click on pages and find out your student budget um, student data dot ASPX which is the new page that we had added click on student data dot ASPX and we'll do the same thing here we'll add an app from the settings add an app import import spreadsheet give it a name student data project and browse and go to the file select student budget for SPX product XLS or any files that you want to bring it in and click open and then click on import So there are two more steps here in import Windows SharePoint services list in the range type select range of cells the first options and select range we will select will select the range of cells that we want to select so click on the add dash type of uh, icon there and select so I want to select expense category amount and bills paid and then click on the range again so I have a range type and select range all done and then click on the import button the table will now be imported to SharePoint here we have a expense category called car miscellaneous expenses phones and rent amount and bills paid I have brought the original Excel spreadsheet with expense category amount and bills paid and we are getting the same in our SharePoint site so this is how you can bring your existing excel spreadsheet into sharepoint using this app and uh, then modifying or formatting the table range uh, the the cell range and uh, and bring your excel spreadsheet in here so that's the first thing we'll uh, discuss a couple more ways to import your data in our next lab thank you